More help is on the way. The president just announcing thousands of National Guard troops are headed to that area to also offer support. Officials now say more than 175 people have been found dead in six states from Florida to Virginia. Our Lily Luciano shows us how they're carrying out that mission. In a helicopter high above North Carolina's remote Blue Ridge Mountains Tuesday, CBS News rode with first responders as they combed the devastated landscape searching for survivors. We're embedded with the state's National Guard following several missions. Some are delivering supplies, some are able to land and bring people to safety, and some have to hoist survivors. We saw them in action over the small town of Burnsville, where the National Guard rescued seven people. All right, the clear signal was given. The person is now being hoisted into the helicopter slowly. And 60 miles south in Hendersonville, three survivors waved from the ground, grateful as the helicopter descended to bring them in. How are you feeling right now? Grateful to be alive. Grateful that everyone is safe. But not all rescues have had a positive outcome. Hurricane Helene is now blamed for more than 160 deaths across six states. And in the area where you were, were people safe? Are people injured? Uh, did Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe and healthy. They desperately need fuel, things to start rebuilding a road so they can get more food and water in there. Damaged roadways, heavy debris, and unreliable phone service has made it particularly hard to reach some of the mountain communities here. There's still hundreds of people that were getting reports um, are stranded. And hundreds of thousands remain without power and running water. If you need help, we are working around the clock to reach you. We're working together to open more major routes to push supplies forward. And Governor Roy Cooper added that there are now about 1,100 people housed in 29 shelters across the state. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, Charlotte, North Carolina.